Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of decomposing improper fractions. This is standard 4.3b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 14 off the 2019 released start test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have this up here, and we don't really need to do much with this model up here. This just tells us that it's equal to one whole. Really what we're looking for is we're looking at this model Y right here. So we're looking at this little guy right here. And so if we take a look at it, you see we've got four different sets of three-fourths. So we've got a three-fourths, we've got another three-fourths, another three-fourths, and then another three-fourths. So when we add up all of those three-fourths, what do we get? Well, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So all of this actually equals twelve-fourths. And so that is our improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. So now what we need to do is we need to find the expression that cannot be used to represent this number, which means three of these actually work. So let's just start with f here, and I'm just going to just draw my fourths. And we'll just kind of pretend that they're even. If they're a little bit sloppy, that's fine. There's my fourths right there. So this is f, and I've just got three sets of four fourths. So that's one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. 4 fourths plus 4 fourths plus 4 fourths does equal 12 fourths, which means this is really three holes because, as you can see, I've got three holes bubbled in. So F is incorrect because we're looking for one that cannot be used. That's the tricky part. So let's look at G. For G, I've got four add-ins, so I'm just going to make four of these little fourths. That's one, two, and that's three. And as you can see, G is a little bit weird because I've just got one fourth and one fourth and one fourth and one fourth. So I've got one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, which just equals four fourths. I'm thinking G is my answer. That is not nearly enough fourths. I'm looking for 12 fourths, and that only gives me one fourth. So let's look at H here. And so H has got four different add-ins. And let's see, the first one is going to be four. The second add-in here is going to be another four. The third add-in, that's where they start getting a little bit smaller. We've got... One, two, three, and then that fourth add end is just going to be a one fourth. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that equals twelve. I'll put it right here. Twelve fourths. That equals four fourths. This equals twelve fourths. So you notice this is very similar. Take a look at H and F. The first two parts are the same, four-fourths and four-fourths. F takes this four-fourths, and they just break it down into three-fourths and one-fourth. So F is incorrect, H is incorrect. I'm assuming J is incorrect. Let's hope so. I've got four add-ins again. So I've got one, two, there's my three-fourths. And if it looks like... We have done this before. Take a look at what we're drawing right here, three-fourths and three-fourths, and then take a look at this model Y down at the bottom. This is 12 fourths. I know it's 12 fourths because you know what this is right here? They already drew that for us. So there's nothing different there. That's three, six, nine, 12. You notice we just, all we do when we're adding fractions, we add the numerators, we keep the denominators the same, but the denominators all have to be equal for it to work. Our answer here is G.